Good evening. Hello. Welcome. Thank you for joining us. My name is Barry. And I'm Jay. And together we are Matusa Crafts. Welcome to our channel and Facebook page. Hopefully. <laughs> Fingers crossed. So we are multi streaming to Facebook and YouTube. Uh, we'll just double check that we are live on both platforms. But if you are new to the channel, um, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and um, hit the all notification bell so you know when we are live or when we have new content on the channel and if you are new on our facebook page as well don't forget to hit like and follow the page so this evening we are unboxing or sharing uh, what we ordered during our pre-order from the stamping up 2024 to 2025 annual catalog so it's a select um, items that's in the new catalog that we can pre-order as demonstrators so if you love stamping up products or uh, want exclusive craft supplies uh, and thinking of joining um, our team our small team uh, to get yourself some uh, discount on future orders then do message us for more details Excellent. It doesn't look like we are live on um, Facebook. It doesn't seem to look like it has oh, gone over correctly. It hasn't okay. set itself up. And there a message come up at the beginning, and it yeah. obviously hasn't um, worked correctly. So Never we really. are live in one place at least. <laughs> so um, yes, yes, lovely. Um, anything else you'd like to add? Yeah, we'll say hello to those of you who joined us live. So thank you so much. And uh, well done for finding the actual <laughs> link. <laughs> so we have Christelle, Mardi, Lani. There you go. Uh, Nancy Amato, Be More Stamper, and Carol Lan. Thank you so much. Excellent. So yes, do please share out, because obviously this is an impromptu video, so we weren't planning to go live tonight. Well, we didn't tell anyone we were going live tonight. But our box, as Jay said, arrived today, so we wanted to share with you what we got. So do share with your friends, um, and hopefully, because people may be waiting on Facebook as well. So we are trying to tell people that we're not on Facebook, we're on um, YouTube instead. Um, so I will let... Um, should we just crack on? Yes, yes. So fingers crossed we are good for internet tonight. Yes, we have plugged everything. We're trying something new, so fingers crossed. With um, internet. We, um, <laughs> we don't lose the feed. So I'm just going to sort this out yeah, for yeah. a moment, and I'll let Jay um, sort that out. So, yes, so you may have seen us share the front cover and the back, <laughs> because that's all we can share. Currently, as the annual catalogue uh, isn't live yet, it's live from 1st of May. Um, 2024 to April 30th, 2025. Um, so yes, so that's the annual catalog. We have received uh, more copies of that. So we'll be sending that out to our customers. So hopefully you have received our emails regarding uh, our offers and things like that. Uh, but I will crack on now. We have got random things, uh, so I'll go through the random things first. Uh, from pretty papers to ribbons, embellishments, stamp sets, bundles, suite, and the new 2024 to 2026 in colors. Ooh, I hear you say. <laughs> but before that, we'll just go through the random stuff. So um, this paper is the textured metallic specialty paper. It's in the name. <laughs> I haven't I haven't actually gone through um, and opened these, but as you can see it is textured. It's one color each. So you have gold. I guess that's silverish. And copper. It's quite nice. So um, if you can see, there's canvasy um, texture to it. So that's lovely, nice and shimmery. I won't put that back in the box. <laughs> this one is the Take to the Sky 12x12 Designer Series Paper. It is from a suite. We didn't get the suite. 
Uh, I just got the paper as we are doing a paper share. So I will open the up and share with you. And also, I believe the Global Creative Project Design Team will be creating projects with this suite. So I'll be just using the paper. Uh, but the papers are lovely. There's images on there. There's card fronts like you can see now. So you can cut that in half and then you have three, four, five, six, seven toppers or uh, one background there and then you have six tags. On the other side, you have a map. Where's north? Oh, that is north. There you go. <laughs> From the compass there. But I'll quickly go through the designs. So nice and masculine. There we go. Mossy meadow, I would say. Oh, that's nice. Don't look at that too much. Can you see? Okay, I can see something. So loads of oldie worldy pl planes even. I like that. That's nice. If you squint, you can hardly see it. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, some clouds. I did some coloring with clouds today from playing in the rain. And some lovely pattern in, I want to say gray granite, but I'll share the colors with you because the new catalog is there's some changes in there. Um, it doesn't sh uh, tell you the colors in each uh, pack of paper, but those are lovely. But it's more about inspiration. So not an encyclopedia of what's available, but uh, it's an amazing catalog for, with new products and um, loads of inspirations for your card making and paper crafts because they've shared some layouts, uh, techniques, loads of different techniques, coloring, and things like that. So th this one is Boho Blue, Copper Clay, Mossy Meadow, Knight of Navy, and Smoky Slate. So it wasn't gray granite, it was Smoky Slate. So that is Take to the Sky. Next we will go with some more papers. Um, again, this one is from a suite, but um, we didn't get the suite. We will probably be getting this one. <laughs> so this paper we have opened because this is the Unbounded Beauty, which we got as a freebie or as a prize patrol from attending on stage. So what did I say? Unbounded Be Beauty 12 by 12. Uh, hi Helen, hi Lisa, hello Janice, thank you so much for joining us. So lovely floral design in all of the in color, in colors even, 2020, 4 to 2026 and I'm sure there's more uh, different colors in there. So you have petal, uh, petal pink, pretty in pink and some random stuff, <laughs> Shai Shamrock, Coastal, I nearly said Coastal Cabana, um, Summer Splash, I still need to learn the names, but there you go, I would say that one is Peach Pa. <laughs> so nice and bright, and the bundle for this, as I said, we, we, didn't, we don't have it yet, but we we'll probably will. Because again, that is a lovely sweet. So that one is Berry Burst, Calypso Coral, Peach Pie, Petunia Pop, Pretty in Pink, Pretty Peacock, Shy Shamrock, Shamrock, and Summer Splash. So that's the main DSP. And in the sweet, you have this glittery, wonderful, wonderfulness. <laughs> what are you? Color, in color glimmer. So when we're in on stage after the event, I did see people with 
um, selfies or pictures taken on the backdrop of lovely glimmer paper and to be honest I completely missed it <laughs> I didn't know where it was <laughs> I was just like oh I could have like hugged that wall <laughs> and seeing if it's actually made out of the, the the actual glimmer paper. I don't know. If you if you touch that wall, let us know and if you have this paper. <laughs> but look, that is peach pie. Uh nun shed. <laughs> Just to double check. So peach pie, uh petunia pop. Pretty in pink. I don't actually have the other light on. Does that make any difference? Not really, but it's brighter for me. <laughs> Ooh, wow, that is bright. Uh, Shy Shamrock, I would say. It's a darker of the two. And Summer Splash. There, amazing. So that is the five in color. Glimmer paper 2024 to 2026 and in the same suite you have this resin dots of course it has the five colors in there two different sizes um one small one large <laughs> do you want to know the sizing let's see the biggest one or the big one is just uh, I would say a quarter of an inch and then the small one is an eighth of an inch oh wrong way and the other one is six millimeter the small one is three millimeter it's not that flat probably one mil or a sixteenth of an inch so it's a bit tighty if that's even a word but yes, so these uh, two or maybe three items have got some of the in colors in there. So that's that one. Next we have, oops, sorry, Tommy. A full suite, oh. We have a full suite, I think. So another, 12 by 12 DSP thoughtful designs 12 by 12 specialty designer series paper I'll put that aside you can see that you can have a look at that later so what's so special about this paper I will tell you <laughs> you can probably see already so it's got like a shimmery um, foiling effect it's I wouldn't say it's silver so it's kind of like pearly I wouldn't say shimmery it's like pearl e effects hi Amanda from B Backstar stamping there we go so that is an ombre effect there so you can probably see the colors um, I would say Petunia Pop to Cajun Craze or Calypso Coral. You have this one is Misty Moonlight to uh, Petunia Pop. No, it's, yeah, I would say. That's, who can you make like, <laughs> probably opposite ends. And then you have Cajun Craze, Calypso Coral, Mossy Meadow, and what green are you? Are you wild wheat? I would, I would say that's more greeny. And then Pretty Peacock, uh, yeah, Pretty Peacock, and Lost Lagoon. Tommy, do you like that one? I think that one's my favorite too. What's in it? There you go. <laughs> <laughs> so yes, so um, the colors are in the pack, but um, I was just trying to figure out which colors which. But um, yeah, Cajun Craze, Calypso Coral, 
Lost Lagoon, Misty Moonlight, Mossy Meadow, Petunia Pop, Pretty Peacock, and Wild Wheat. So yes, that is Wild Wheat. It looks quite greeny. <clears throat> greeny, yellowy. Yellowy green. I don't know. <laughs> Aguello. <laughs> Guello. Yellow. So that one was the thoughtful designs. So it is a two D. Uh, there's another DSP thoughtful journey. So I'll open this up. I'll try and be quick. This one is lovely because as you can see, it's uh, already. It's got the like watercolor background or painting that um, Stumping Up does so well. Their in-house art artists uh, actually cre creates these um, artworks um, much bigger than the paper and then they scan it and then print it as DSP. So this one is Thoughtful Journey 6x6 six six, uh, inches. Uh, you have Blackberry Bliss, Boho Blue, Cajun Craze, Calypso Coral, Lost Lagoon, Misty Moonlight, Mossy Meadow, Peach Pie, Petunia Pop, Pool Party, Pretty Peacock, and Wild Wheat. So that's a whole lot of colors. But as you can see, because they probably start off with all of those colors. Uh, I'm just guessing here. Uh, as in when they start watercoloring these. And then obviously when, they, when it bleeds or uh, spread out, it creates another color. So something fun. Hi, Jackie. Hello, Francois. Bonsoir. Uh, so you have four sheets of the same design and it is double sided. So look, so you can just, these are great for background quick layers as well. And ooh, nice watercolor wash. I'll try and do that. So some hills, <laughs> grove again. That would that would look great with the um, grassy grove. For the um, that could be like a sky and then the horizon, horizon with the forest in the background. There we go. Some swamp. No <laughs> lake. <laughs> there we go. That's nice. <laughs> I just say swamp because it's <laughs> it's not blue. Um, there we go. So you have pretty peacock, uh, boho blue. Wild, uh, was there wild wheat? Something. But anyway, so I'll I'll quickly go through this. But lovely um, designs. I should move them and then. I like to see, see that one's like um, kind of like even a wintry look, a wintry sky. So you can have that for different seasons and then um, you can use it all year round. That reminds me of that winter, um, the winter DSP, the 12 by 12. So that one. And then that one, this one. So we're actually going to be doing an online craft retreat with this suite uh, in June. So check out um, more details coming out soon. Hopefully soon-ish. Oh, that's a nice color there. Oh, nice. I do like pretty peacock. <clears throat> that's that. And then finally, some floral. I wouldn't even know what they are. And that is the paper. Who else have we got in? There we go. So, oh, hello, hello. So the um, gems that comes in the thing, in the suite, in the thing, is called Adhesive Back Pearl Trio. I should... I normally write the the suite that they're on Ooh. and then I know where it's from because we put all of our embellishments on one side uh, or in one place 
so it's all in one place. So this one is, are the colors on here? I don't even think the colors are on here, but you can probably, I'll hazard a guess. <laughs> Lost Lagoon? <laughs> Lost Lagoon maybe, uh, or Pretty Peacock, uh, Cajun Craze or Calypso Coral, and Petunia Pop, Blackberry Bliss. It's iridescent -y, but it's quite tall. Again, it's taller than the in-color resin dots. So I would say it's probably uh, an eighth of an inch, three mil. Maybe just less, but yeah, it's nice. It's only one size, but in three colors. There we go. So what did I say that was? Let us... Um, journey. I won't do the rest. I just do that Charlie one. Has asked what's the name again? What's the name again of? Is that the paper you're after, Mardi? Or just let us know in the comments what you're on about. So the bundle for the sweet is called Thoughtful Wishes. And the suite is Thoughtful Journey. So it, it is a cling stamp set with 10 image, um, ten stamps, designs, uh, great sentiments there. Uh, thinking of you fondly. That's a nice way of um, saying thinking. Thinking of you fondly. <laughs> <laughs> so you have uh, lovely greenery or more leafings for me. Yay! <laughs> Vic is watching as well. So Hello, you. Vic. So we have the the. The embellishments, Marty says. What's the name of it? Yes. Adhesive back pearl trio. That one. There we go. So you say, uh, we stick that down at the back, and we put all of the. All of that sheet on the back. But that's the cling stamp, and let's just quickly double check on here. So the wishes dies, you have 11 dies. That is huge. Ooh. On as well. Hello. So I, oh, a better, um, have we got a card? We should have a card somewhere. There we go. So that's a nice. Oh, you can make a frame with that. Lisa Tabor is on. Liz, Liz Hi, Liz. Lisa. Lisa, yes. Sir. So yes. So um, outline the these ones matches two of them. One, two. So that one and that one. That 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 one doesn't look like it has a die on it. Uh, but you have random different ones, uh, standalone dice. So again, we normally draw around because we keep it, we keep them on their pack. So we normally draw them around before we start taking them off. So that will be my job maybe, or maybe tomorrow. i probably uh, have other things that I need to do, but you never know. I do like uh, procrastinating. <laughs> Leafings galore. Leafings, yes. <laughs> so it was bound to be in one of our classes or uh, retreat. So that one was the Thoughtful Journey Suite. The next suite that we have, uh, we've only got, it's a mega suite, but we've only got the one bundle for now. Again, we will be getting both. Um, stamp set and dice in the mega suite so the mega suite is i will just double check <laughs> i think it's called Con country woods uh i'll just where's the catalog because i have it here i can't show it to you as in the the inside of the catalog because i'll get in trouble um the the 
Sweet, yes, country boots. Woods. Country what? Country woods. Country, country woods. Sorry. Um, so it's got the country birdhouse and country flowers bundle. But the papers, we got both of. Um, did I say we're doing a paper share already? That's for the UK customers. So um, more details. Email us. Or if you receive our newsletter, uh, that's an, that's annoying, isn't it? I, I did it the side way. So I'll take that off and then try and put it in. So the colors for this one, this is the Country Lace DSP, Basic Beige, ooh, Misty Moonlight, Petal Pink, and Smoky Slate. So that's a nice kind of like denim genie. <laughs> Uh, and petal pink, I think. Is that what I said? Nice. So it, I quite li I, I really like it because it it can be um, unisex um, because of the grays and the neutral colors. That I would say is basic beige. Kind of like the same design as this one i'm just gonna check it looks same ish but just different color as well as the pink so you have the pink and then the blue that's cool I've missed my sequence so that's that one and then you have smoky slate i know i just said the the colors but i've forgotten already and then that one, is that the same? It's probably gonna be a same one uh, later on. There we go, dotty, dotty one. Um, and stripey one with the signs. Some more stripings with, oh, that's nice. Like a wallpaper. That's a nice wallpaper design. There we go. So basic page, Misty Moonline, Petal Pink, and Smoky Slate. So that one is the Country Lace. I've I'm already running out of space. <laughs> <laughs> Next one in the DSP department from the Mega Suite is the Country Woods. There we go. So the colors in here are basic beige, basic gray, crumb cake, early espresso, gray granite, misty moonlight, pecan pie, petal pink, pool party, smoky slate, and wild wheat. A wild, wild wheat. They should have said it wild, wild wheat. Right. Ooh, that's nice. I'll just bring that out so then I can see the actual colors when I'm trying to guess. <laughs> Lani, I asked a question, what's everyone liking? But Lani said, besides all of it, the glittery paper. Oh yes, the glittery yeah. paper. And Amanda's pre-order has arrived. So she can Yay! Watch and unpack at the same time. Oh, cool. So uh, this DSP, the Country Woods uh, Design Series paper, I think it's one of my favorite. It's photographic or, um, yeah, it's photographs of like textured um, woods. <laughs> Look at that. Look at the colors in that. I wonder if they actually, if they just designed it digitally or they actually made the woods as well. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Look at that. It's nice. There we go. It's like weathered woods. You can use this for nice backgrounds as well. See, like that. Um, I have... Um, whenever I see nice weathered woods, I, I do take pictures of them. <laughs> there you go. That's like petal pinky bark woof woof 
There we go. And then the last one. See, I think, I think the first and the second one, and then this one. I don't know. I I, I like all of them. Oh, look, look at that one. I do like my greys as well. There we go. So that is the Country Woods DSP. I'm just making sure my pile is okay. <laughs> I've lost the paper for the plastic on that already. I'm sure it's somewhere. And finally, the bundled. Oh no, not finally. It's got the eyelet 3D embossing folder. So it is a 3D folder. We had um, a recent customer ask us um, what the difference is between a 3D and a normal embossing folder. 3D is more in depth or, or it's a lot thicker. So you do need a special plate for that um, number four. And then your base plate. But I'm sure if you have other cutting and embossing machine, uh, if you try and figure out the shim on that, um, then that should be fine. Shall I quickly emboss this one? Oh, go on then. Oh, go on then. Oh, go on then. Oh, go on. Now, I, I did try something for our customer and tried different combinations. Uh, just get paper, basic white. Right. I'll do it the size as a card front. <laughs> I could have done it bigger, to be fair. But, uh, what's that? Four one eight by five and a half, ten point five by 14. Let's take that down. And I believe this is the most, um, is this, this is the most popular from the pre-order in the UK. Is it really? Yeah. Is that what, is that what Helen shared? I think so. I could be wrong. I, um, our DDM did a, a lovely, um, kind of like a poll, five questions and, um, I did answer them, but I don't know if I was right. I think this is the one that I said, or maybe so swirly I said. So well, the, that. So it just goes through really nicely with the correct plates. And I obviously haven't been paying attention, but then, wow, that's lovely paper. Yeah, isn't it? it's pearly. <laughs> oh, I do like the D boss. I'm more of a D boss person. <laughs> The boss. You're I'm the, the boss. You're, 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 you're the boss. <laughs> the the boss of leafings. <laughs> you're the boss. Omg. Right. I'm gonna run it through again. Shiny. I can't remember my platforms with the two. One two and a cutting pad. It might be too thick. So it is a bit um, harder. It's not as smooth as your specialty plate. It still runs through. But obviously I would suggest to, to use the specialty plate um, because that will prolong the life of your cutting boss machine. Because obviously if you try and insert thicker things although you you might ma you manage to put it through it might just loosen the wheels or the roller in there so it still goes through okay with a bit of um resistance shall i say uh that is yeah uh really stunning i like that one I do like that. That's a lovely, pack. That's a lovely folder, isn't it? You can see that being used a lot. It can be used for a lot of things as well. It's, yeah. it's not just it, it's it's not just feminine. It's not floral, so it can be used for yeah. male, female. It can be used for techniques. Definitely, it can go with a lot of projects. I think. 
So that's um, that one. And then one of the bundle is here called ooh, the country flowers. I'm just gonna, um, whilst we're on, is it that one? There we go. So country flowers bundle. You have 13 photopolymer stamp set. You can mix and match the, I guess, teapot. <laughs> and uh, what teapot now are you? What's that one? Um, it's just a can, isn't it? It's a can, apparently. Um, flower pot, like a. It's like a metally one. Yeah, isn't I it? kind of that's what I mean. It's like a. Um, I want to see like a milk kind of. Kind yeah. Of pale kind of. And you can do some masking or stamping right marker to stamp technique. Put those on the table so the lines isn't on there, and then. It's, I quite like, ooh, uh, this is what I wanted to see. Yes, that, that is. When I was looking at that, I was like, I wonder if they did the same on the top, where it's an open top, so then you can stamp your leafings and flowerings uh, on top and not have the line. And it is. So that line for that is actually a separate line. Mm -hmm. So you can either have it completely um, just as a container, or add your topper or tops onto there. It's quite big because the, the image is 90% on the front, so it's bigger, 10% bigger in real life. Mario, yeah, milk can. That's milk can. Thank you. Yeah, we don't have those. <laughs> so the dice, it cuts off those open the open dice are cuts off those images you have a standalone for the leaves flowers i've just done what i did with what? the um the painted lavender what, what does that fit what does it's that upside, fit it's upside down <laughs> again isn't it oh you it looks like a castle it looks like a sand castle Yes, you can. You can. If you do that with a nice brick embossing folder and then run that through, you can have a sand cut. You can have a yeah. castle with basic beige and crumb cake color it. Or you, it looks like um, kind of like those desk tidy that you can make. So you can turn that, but obviously you have to maybe draw it a little bit or color it the way you want it. Anyway, <laughs> that looks like an elephant's trunk. Where? There. <laughs> What, just now? <laughs> yes. Great spot, Barry. Well done. <laughs> you can do some uh, dive art instead of yeah. punch art. <laughs> I really thought it looked like. Yes. None of that. Thank you very much. <laughs> so that's that one. And next. Out. Some random things. Nancy's going, you're making me spend more money. And Jackie's very, very true, Jackie. The catalogue runs all year. So, um, at which point we will have another couple more catalogues come out. <laughs> yes. And online is We'll have Christmas soon. <laughs> so this one, so swirly embossing folder. So this one isn't a 3D um, because it doesn't say in the name. It is huge. So I'm just going to put that in that way. Why did I put put it in? <clears throat> Look at the size of it. Yes. So that eyelet is It's almost that like way. two together. Yeah, I think it is the same It's the same size, size as the base plate, isn't it? It's the base plate. So there you go, which is, let's get the ruler out. That's around about a nine inches by six, isn't it? Let's see the design. Yeah, so just, um, so the actual folder is six inches or 15.2 centimeters. Like nine inches. And oh, eight and a half. Eight and a half which is 21.7 centimeters 
So I think that will need a, a run through, don't you think? That does need a run through. I think so. So what did it say? Six inches. <laughs> I've forgotten already. And this should fit because that's eight and it was eight and a half. So it was, that is the size of a four, eight and a quarter. Okay, that's fine. So what do you mean? So, so I love, love my teapot elephant idea. Yeah. At least somebody does. <laughs> Barry will show you when he makes them. <laughs> when do I get teapot elephant? Yeah, teapot elephant. <laughs> Elephant's foot bow. <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> so there we go. So because it is a bit, uh, a normal embossing folder in your plate, hopefully it's not as dirty as ours. It actually tells you there. So you have number one and then both the cutting plate. It would help to actually put it in side. I'm uh, just trying to think what I would use a big embossing folder for. For scrapbooking. Okay, yes. For uh, yes. home decor, for um, larger 3D paper crafts. Yeah. So just make sure that the spine is going in first. There we go. So you've got it as a 3D, isn't it? Oh, it's a 3D, sorry. The, the other one was normal. Oh my gosh. It doesn't say 3D on there though. Is it a 3D? Am I um, doing it wrong? Right, I'm gonna try it first. It looks 3D. Yeah, it doesn't It doesn't say 3D on the thing. Okay, so here we go. We're, this is a learning curve for you. So if you're doing this. No, that's too, that feels too. Can I have a little feel of it? I think it's just one plate. Maybe. Yeah, it's definitely not. It's okay. It definitely doesn't use the okay. 3D play. So I'm going to try it with one. Put it on. And that will be less. That is less. Okay. I will do the two. Can I just... Oh, oh um, I've got another one. Because the one that... <laughs> what? You're going to... I am doing it like on the side. Can I just try it with... The one that I did earlier. Oh, is that... Did you do it that? And then... And one, only one plate? Yeah. That was going to be my next one. Okay. Yeah, and that doesn't go That, that feels like... That looks like it's not, so... So it's got to be... It's got to be that. It's got it? to be that. I was probably just a weakling. <laughs> it's on the side. I normally, I normally do it the other way. Yeah. yeah. And you were just being a. So that is very tight, though. But so. Yeah. Cool. There we go. Thank you, Muscle Man, Mister Muscle. <laughs> <laughs> but um, yeah. I'm sure I can do it as well. I was just being... I didn't want to put it through really it wrong. It looks like it wasn't going through from here as well, which yeah. is why I questioned it. Okay. So. I didn't want to push it through just in case. But look at that. It's like it's moving because I'm moving it. <laughs> so swirly. So I said, obviously, obviously, what you I don't know what you would use it for. And Shazza said, 7x5 cards, yes, which is good. Jackie's said, you can make two cards at once. Yes. Um, Francois has gone 3D. I'm assuming we're talking about the plates now. Yeah. So, yes, yeah, so Francois, it's, um, the 3D plate didn't work with that. It was two things, so it is... So it is, it is correct. The one and... So it's that one. It is the one and so was the correct. two threes. The first. Yeah. Go. So that's... Fun, new, new um, size mm -hmm. brings yeah, new opportunities for different projects. Interesting. Yeah. So um, we have an ink pad. What are you after? 
Oh no, I'll I'll do the stamp sets first. I'm so, so looking forward to this. Is this is one of our favourite in the catalogue. I didn't realise that. I, you know yeah. what? I have I've, I've been so fixated on this in the catalogue. I completely missed those two down the bottom. Yeah, Kisha, um, the can't spell crafter. She always uh, joins us on our chat and Heidi. She's been playing with this and she shared lovely um, cards that she made. I'm, I'm sure she made about four or five. Uh, so check her out on Instagram and maybe Facebook. I can't remember if she's on Facebook. Um, she shares a lot of lovely projects throughout the week. The Keisha is on as well. So Keisha, have you um, have you shared those pictures, any those projects anywhere yet? Here we go. So it's like it doesn't say that it's in this the thing distinctive. <laughs> I, I couldn't think the word. What, what, what is it again, Jay? Dink. No, it's dink. not a dink. It's distinctive. Distinctive. <laughs> dink, dinkative. <laughs> Sorry. Dink a di dink stick. Shush now. Dink you just stink stink no, stop, I can't. stop okay, talking can't, because I you're going to say something you shouldn't. <laughs> I'm just going to quickly stamp it. So I have some paper. Let's get some. I don't have paper. I'll, go, I'll just get some. Cut that out. So it's photopolymer. Um, so I would suggest do we have this is why I have. had a garden for putting stuff away then <laughs> yes i did <laughs> in my lovely uh, biscuit tray <laughs> that um charlotte and linda commented so what i'm doing is because photopolymer sometimes uh it leaves a coating so i've just got a rubber i do have this coarse rubber i'm just gonna do that and sometimes as well i use um, Versamark just to what you call it there is an English word <laughs> for it which I can't remember okay, so Keisha has um, shared one of her lovely projects already so if you go over to, over to the can't spell crafter um, on Instagram you can see one of her cards over Yay. there and that's crafter with a K. Keisha, maybe you just want to type your Instagram in the in the chat if you want. Right. And uh, whenever you use a, um, a new stamp, I would say stamp on a piece of scrap first because just in case there's any residue or on there, stamp it a couple of times. Just so you, uh, when you first stamp it on actual card, you're not going to be disappointed about it. Thinking that, oh, I should have um, checked it first. There we go. So it looks like it's quite dark on there, but I will do one on the card. And probably the, a better way, are you straight? A better way would probably be using your brushes or sponge dubber so you don't get those um, if you want a clearer thing. So if I do that, so you're only adding lighter color on there. I know it's not like supposed to be like that but
That's interesting, isn't that one? Ooh, I, I've done a. You've done a, but you've done a, if you do it, you you've go. done a. A sun. Sun, you've come out like on the sky sunset. with there a. So that one was a short afternoon. With a nice. Mm. Yeah, that's nice, isn't you it? You can do mirror image, I guess. You can do mirror image on that one. And can't then you? you can do the rest with these. I'm going to. Um, condition, that's the word that I was. Um, what is it? They said it's prime. That's it. So, um, we're not going to see one of the one of the moon ones. Do you want the moon? I want to see a, can we see a moon. Okay, <laughs> stamp the moon just over, over that. I'll do that one there. What this one? Yeah, what color do you want? Um, gray, right? What's Barry thinks do, of her? Uh, oh, you do the beige. Yes. Do you want to try a basic page? I could, because I was going to show that next. I was going to show it first, and then I got distracted by this lovely stamp set. I don't know where it is. It's underneath the catalogue. I open it? Yeah. No, you can just look at it. <laughs> In the pack. So, this is one of the new basic colors, basic page. So it's got the labels at the back and with this ink pads, uh, to remember, uh, we still get, uh, people, um, getting, com um, confused on how to open it. There's a lip there. So open that up like so lift that up and then in um i did it's not yeah so lift up from the lip and then pull over and then squeeze or push in let's see again i'm just gonna what so big viva the chamois <laughs> chamois vivi what's that vivi the chamois so that is the page on there. So again, because I've I've got some residue stuff on there, I have. I've, it's probably better. Our chamois is on its way out, and it's it's got grains there, and probably from my um, rubber. So just be aware of that. But I'm just gonna do this on here. I I don't think it's gonna work that well yeah so the beige is a bit but obviously because I added that it doesn't work but I will use a darker color uh, I think night of nail misty moonlight mm. And what I'll do is I'll just get another piece. Would probably be better, so you can see it better. Uh, where's that one? So Knight of Navy. Let's just double check. Oh, see that looks nice. Hi, Anne. Look at that. And then, um, can you? Color lifter, spread out the ink. Because it's wet and it's alcohol, it, um, it spreads it out obviously it might go on, onto your color lifter but <clears throat> just use it on a different can um, you use a color lifter on the ink after it's dried or does it have to be done whilst it's wet well or quite fresh 
I would say quite fresh because normally inks um, but I, I think you can use it when it's dry because it's the color lifter is wet so anything that adds water or wetness to it There you go. What's up, uh, if you want to re uh, can I actually spread it out a bit more it doesn't actually spread it out but it just makes it smoother if you really want to spread it out I would say a blender pen or the water painters but they give off a lot of um, a lot of ink or water already so I'm just gonna spread that out so you can ha you can add different shading I wouldn't use my color lifter on just pure ink because I don't want to destroy it so you have lovely uh, interesting. if I do it on top there you can see the difference it is a lot more darker there and inkier so but if you just go around there we go shall I finish it off sorry I thought that was finished I was thinking it was kind of like a nice kind of like, like, uh, like halo yeah. kind of like going yeah. around it a little bit and then you can add more darkness in the center so you can like a small stamp, one stamp, and then you can just, depending on what color you use. So there's techniques with just one stamp there, which you can then change the it. way that it looks as well. That you just kind of brought that to life. You could add some different colors into that as well. Yeah. So maybe some like some reds into there as well, kind of like as the as, as for a sunset and really kind of like bring it to life. Interesting. So the blender pen, it does take the color onto there just take it out it will tint it but as soon as that's not so it will stain it will stain it will stain but just nib. take it off from a scrap on a scrap piece of paper and it's fine to go on another color that comes in packs of three um, and that is going up so could you put alcohol in a water painter yes you could yes we've done that as well before so there we go it actually pulls out uh, so Knight of Navy has a purple base to it or it's got reddish because it pulls it out you can see or it could have been just from our blender pen anyway uh, sorry about that uh, <laughs> I will just do the beige again yeah good tip there Carol so Carol's the same just be one to tell you to be careful with the chamois shredding grains uh, yes. because they get on the stamp and then on the ink pad um, she messed up one of hers like that so yeah so just um, yeah be careful thank you there you go so it's it. I think it's still too inky on today yeah so that one would probably be better with the whatchamacallit brush brush that's it Blending with brush. that <laughs> I knew, I knew what that was yeah exactly you always know what I mean mm -hmm. anyway that is I under the moon <laughs> because I normally just say pass me the thingy mm -hmm. that thing you know you know um, sorry I said may I ask which paper um, we use to, uh, paper which we use to stamp this on um, if so it was the basic white just, just normal wasn't white, it just yeah. normal basic white stamping up basic white paint card stock so I normally just keep that in there. But yes, under the moon. Get it. I'm looking forward to playing with get this it, one. Get it, get it. I love it. And of course, as I already said, the basic beige. Um, crumb cake. I'll show you next door to it. It's there. It's probably better to um, stamp in a solid image so you can see and what else gray granite is darker there's no stamp for better vanilla once we have this I'll just use the I'm 
What are you? The boat? I'm on a boat. Or something. Alright, I'll just do that quickly. Yes, the normal cardstock. That's what we're using. Yeah. Right. Uh, just so I can see. Basic page seems lighter. Again, I'm just gonna stamp. So it does stamp all right. It just because of the nature of the distinctive. Am I actually? So this is basic page. Crumb cake is next. Ooh, nearly. I didn't wipe it because I know crumb cake is darker. I will wipe it because I'm not sure if gray granite is <laughs> it's darker. I think it's lighter than crumb cake. There you go. What's lighter than beige? I don't think none of the neutrals will be. Um, obviously, you, it'll be a colored one like petal pink, uh, maybe soft sea foam, but obviously it's a different tint. But crumb cake, I would say it's a kind of like in between because it's gray like gray granite but it's sandy like crumb cake <laughs> basic page <laughs> that's how it should be oh, oh no we need another block for that one. Oh no do we really yeah we run out of spaces yes we have you're gonna have to do what we do at the bottom at yeah the bottom. We've, we've got no room for another block <laughs> yeah <laughs> so yes who's excited for beige we could go up, I suppose. Huh? <laughs> we could go up, I suppose. <laughs> yeah. Right. Next, next, next. What next? I had to craft. I'm sorry. This one is um, the in color shimmer gems. Oh, I think was this from another suite? I don't know. I will double check, but it it was on the side. So it's one, two, three, four, five. There is five colors there. Slightly darker on the Shy Shamrock. Uh, Summer Splash. Pretty in Pink. Petunia Pop. Peach Pie. Um, so two different sizes. There's five. They look a little bit pretty, don't they? they just a little bit, yes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, not just pretty in pink, but pretty in, in colors. <laughs> Shimmer Gems. So there's 150 in there. Um, what's that? Five, then 15 each. Uh, that's that one. All right, nearly done ish. <laughs> really? It was still going to take about another hour to get well, one of these. <laughs> what, is there some more there? Yeah. No. <clears throat> okay, we have some more stamp set. So Barry really liked this one. It's so cute. Bundle. Hearts and hugs. Um, oh, big hug. Sending a big hug. Uh, I could just hug you. Thank you. So it's a cling stamp set with 10 um, designs. There you go. The image is 95% on there. So it's 5% larger in actual I was thinking of doing this one for this. Oh, yes, you can. I can sh maybe I can show a prototype of what's to come. So the dice, <laughs> I'm guessing, would be to cut it out. <laughs> really? <laughs> Did you sound surprised? <laughs> Yay! So you have, what are they? Walruses, aren't they? Uh, what's that one? They're badgers. There you go. And what's that one? Well, I would say it's a hamster. A hamster. I think people have said gerbil, but I think mm. it's a hamster. Okay. And a mousy. Thank God but... for that, that you know what that is. 
<laughs> you obviously don't know what your animals are, which is why you just got me to answer that, hasn't it? Yeah, I do. Look at that. It cuts out two, four, six, seven hearts for your rainbow, Vic. Um, and because it's in one die, it'll cut it out all in one go. You can use the cutouts for embellishments, for shaker cards, and you can use the actual um, card as a topper. So those dies will be in, uh, cut out, will be on the layer, which is great. So you have some heart-shaped flowers uh, that you can add onto the top of this lollipop, which is great for adding your adhesive. So a dot of Tombow, so you have a space uh, to add your flowers. That's cool. I love that. And of course, a banner, which is always handy to put in yes, your sentiments. And not, not just for these sentiments. It's a nice size banner yeah. for a lot of sentiments. So, so um, if you've got your nice... Half an inch. I keep forgetting it's in the same way. Uh, 1.3 centimeters by three three sixteenth of an inch if you want to be exact 8.2 centimeters so expect uh, either an extra content or the coloring masterclass members with this one um, at some point in the future yes. uh, or a proper masterclass I haven't decided yet but hearts and hugs so the idea I have with this one, this is a, this is the prototype to come. So for Funfold Friday, this is what I want to do. Look, it's lovely, isn't it? There you go. Ooh, Bermuda Bay. <laughs> so um, this is I wanted to use that for this one here. So it's um, I want to do this wow. kind of like fun kind of like pop up thing for. You. So I kind of had an idea of using this set with it or something floral. So yeah. I'm not sure yet, but. Yes, yeah, so when I so I've been waiting for that, so I haven't recorded tomorrow's Fun Fall Friday yet. Ooh. Is that what you're going to do tomorrow then? I don't know. Oh, Hopefully, okay. I'm not sure yet. <laughs> Hopefully, I'm thinking to, or I may try something else. I'll okay. do this for next week. And so that's something to come. Yeah. What's it called? I don't know. Okay. Um, <laughs> I don't know. Round and round. Because the lady that I've, I, I, I'm casing this from is Japanese and the title's in Japanese and I don't know what happened. You, you can copy and paste on I Google Translate. I suppose Translate. I could translate, couldn't I? <laughs> Google is good. Uh, so, yes, Google knows everything. Anyway, the last bundle that we have yep. before uh, we share the in colors in all its glory <laughs> uh, it's layers of beauty another one of our favorite flowers and leaves what else can you ask for it's um, the bundle comes with the die stamp set and the layers of beauty decorative masks so it's the same as the enduring beauty so I'm actually gonna be mixing both layers of beauty and enduring beauty as a master class, coloring master class, uh, I think in May, but May or June. So the mask have got five. So you have the outline of the flowers, the shading of the flowers, some more shading or shadows, the leafings, and then the other leafings <laughs> the details shall I say so normally if it's of the open image and the details you can use that notch and just lay it on top like that but yes we'll have online coloring masterclass with this lovely lovely and the stamp set is photopolymer 85% so it's a lot bigger Look at that, it's huge. It's like it's 15% bigger. Because <laughs> it is. So finally, uh, there is an interesting die in here. Well, I think it's interesting because it gives you other possibilities without fussy cutting. So one thing to watch for. So again, open so it cuts out the full image um, you have the small one 
on there but this uh, or oh, another small one I would say that one or that one that one is that one yeah and then the leaf is leaf the leaf is leaf but this one it actually cuts obviously it's not the size the middle bit because in the in the artwork it's not all joined up so you can just cut that and layer it up um, which is amazing so you can do some decu decoupaging if you want to really fussy cut the, the other ones then you can have double triple quadruple dimensionals on your card if you like that um, sort of cards uh, how did this go i think that fits okay and it's got a tag. Oh, that's a nice tag. You can make that smaller or longer. Do you want um, to do our tip of what we do with Well, I, I, I was so excited about that show, piece of Show dye. everyone quickly our tip. I've already done it. Oh, have you? Yeah. I was paying so much attention, yeah. wasn't I? On the, one of the first <laughs> dies. But yes, layers of beauty. You make my heart smile. Thank you. God bless. So those are that. Um, now we have the in colors. Now we have got the other two here. I I like to spread out these two um, because they just to show you that they're kind of different. Um, so yeah, shy shamrock, peach pie, summer splash, pretty in pink, petunia pop, and I'm sure I've said that at least 10 times <laughs> already but that's the ink pad we are doing an in color kit um, so you can get a kit of samplers and products with just the one color of your choice or all five if you prefer again um, contact us if you if Barry was on the computer he would have shared the, the link to our form I can do, it. do you want to show that picture right there that that's the paper shape. Oh, it looked like it got the ink color. Oh, on that's the, the ink color well. one as well, actually. Yeah. But that hasn't got the links on it. I'll go and do the links right now. Cool. So, thank yes, you. So do check those ones out. Um, I'll post the link in the live chat right now. So, I uh, during on stage, I, I have shared this before. I did do the cardstock, the ink, and then the Stampin' Right marker. Uh, just to show you the difference in colors, but they all coordinates and has either the same or slightly just off uh, because obviously different materials will have different reaction to the color of the ink. Uh, so that's that one. And I was so surprised. I was like, this paper, it's like an odd shape. It's actually the letter size. And I realized after realizing that, <laughs> The catalog is the same size as a letter size. I'm sure all of our North American um, viewers already said, uh, duh. <laughs> <laughs> of course, because obviously our paper is A4. It's like longer and um, shorter. <laughs> I was just like, oh, wow, <laughs> that's cool. I'm saving that paper. <laughs> Little things. So anyway, uh, the in colors. Now I can actually do my in color bookmarks because I've been trying to wait for that. Um, I have put this, um, I printed it on normal basic white and in our catalog that we're going to be sending out, I'll be um, putting this on there as well. The blank PDF is available on our website as well. So I can do some stamps on there, cut it out and then use the ribbons because the in colors do have their own ribbons. Is it just a Google form you want me to share, Jay? Yeah. yeah. So that one, uh, what's the thing? So, there. Bordered ribbon, is that what it's called? Yes. Bordered ribbon, they they do cut or sh um, I think they shred. I've seen people. If 
you cut it yeah so you can Ooh, that's that's a nice effect if you cut it in half because it's got the stitching for the border I'm guessing you can either get the long piece but what I just like that I've just done there take that off then you can make it curly whirly <gasps> oh that looks like a fern leaf or a ferny fern <laughs> ferny fern <laughs> but yes um, ribbon uh, bow let's have a look how do I tie a bow <laughs> So this one was this is this summer splash? Yes, I was gonna say it's lighter. So the in uh in color kit um just samples of the ribbon and the embellishments as well. Ink pads as a product, sample of cardstock. But yes, these are lovely. So it is because it's uh, about an uh, one centimeter, three eighths of an inch. It can be a big knot on there. So maybe better for 3D or just as a, a band. All right, I'm just going to pin that. So that's that. I won't open all of them. I will. Shall I stamp all of the um, inks? I will have to open them first. No answer. <laughs> say that again. Uh, shall I stamp all of the inks quickly once yes, we're here? We Literally an hour uh, before we went live. Um, that's when I opened. <laughs> that's when I opened the box because I've, I've done the extra content for the coloring masterclass members. For that was there any heart would people want dolphin as there or just shall I do it as a let's sail together <laughs> so what's lighter I would say pink So these are juicy. If your ink pad is juicy and it's new, um, it will create bubbles. So just be aware of that. You can spread out the ink with, I've lost my uh, card that I normally use. Did you move it? <laughs> you move her? <gasps> Right, I don't like using a bone folder because it makes it a messy, but I'm going to have to use it. Just put, push it to one side or if you're not too fast with using up your ink, you can just do that on a scrap piece of paper because otherwise you'll be forever scraping it for the next few. <laughs> days weeks see it's still bubbly I didn't um, put it in pink lovely I'll just clean it up but I won't um, do the rest I'll just if it's bubbly it's bubbly right peach pie it's really orangey that one but hopefully it, it dries lighter. The inks always come out darker and dry lighter. Yeah, they the do. Way, so. Petunia pop. I 
I wanted to use like hearts or, or flowers, <laughs> but we'll do these because it's already on. It's a good stamp that you're using for the demonstration there. Yeah. It's solid enough, isn't it? It is. Or the dolphin from Under the Moon. Did, was that correct? Summer Splash. So that looks dark whilst it's wet. And then... Ooh, that's really green. There we go. Oh! Ah, I've made a mistake. See? Shy Shamrock. But... So, that's just a sample. I'm, I'm not going to give that to someone because that's completely the wrong way around. There we go. <laughs> I was so excited for the summer splash that I didn't check the name underneath it. Well done me. <laughs> so that's the in colors. You have, of course, the cardstock as well. In pink, peach pie. I'm gonna put that there just to wait for it to dry, and also the cards. We uh we have I have updated the card the blank card swatch. So that will be my next job as well. Cut out three eighths of an inch or one centimeters a strip, and then do a strip on each one cut it all out and then you'll have a card swatch with the um, number so I'm sure you've seen our old one I don't even know where our old one is it's here I know it's here so there you go so I just need to update 2024 to 2025 in color because the one that I have is we're saying goodbye to these ones and also I've, I've done it so if you do have the old one the basic beige is along the bottom otherwise it's another another strip with only four or five of the cards so yes, again, the blank of this is available on our website with other PDFs because I will show you some more ink color stuff. And we have the blends. Lovely new blends. I love it. So now it's gone dry. The Shy Shamrock, <laughs> it's a lot brighter. And um, actually, the Summer Splash is a lot duller than I thought it would be, but it's still bright, if that makes sense. It's not as bright as I thought as it would be. So there we have it. Uh, with the stamping blends, I'm just going to see. This is the new blends chart that I have. I might as well color in. So, what's that? Petunia Pop. So this is my kind of like my rainbow order. Uh, and I use the color wheel as a guide uh, of how they kind of like started uh, within. But not really because I've kind of like randomly done it. So Petunia Pop is under the purples, which is surprising for me. I would have done it as a pink, but it looks like a purple there. That's the dark, and it's just easier to do lines that way. I am doing this a lot Ooh. quicker than normally. Ooh, now that lid was open, so I'm gonna get. It's still okay it just came off so uh, but it clicks okay um, so it's not run out right where's my pretty in pink 
so it'll be in the pink. If you, um, if you want a much more better control, I would suggest using the bullet tip, but for large images, I think I just put it in the wrong one. That is the dark. See, I'm not, because I'm not paying attention and I'm trying to rush it, that's the dark. At least I still have space for the light. But you can see that I might have to reprint that or just... <laughs> oh well. <gasps> right. Huh? It's not fine. It's what? It's not fine for me, no. So we have dark, um, dark? Shy Shamrock, so that will be green. So up here, just make sure it's actually... Can you answer the question for Pat in a second? Landon Crafter, she wants to know about how you colored the swatch. Color the swatch? Yeah. How did you color the long swatch that you showed earlier? Oh, oh this one it. so yeah so it's a strip of card um, cardstock so three eighths of an inch or one centimeter so with the PDF if you cut if I do it so you can see um, I don't have any So three eighths of an inch or one centimeters. Cut that out. Stick that on the wild wheat section. And then do every single card strip and then cut it along there. And then you'll have five bookmarks or swatch um, to give to your crafty friends or keep to yourself there is uh, this PDF on the website it's five pages so the last page is in colors brights neutral subtles and neutrals but obviously you'll have to gauge how big each one will be so it'll just easier to do one and give and share your love for crafting with four other friends, I would say. I have just shared the link to our web page to the blank PDF download and page so you can see all of the blanks on there. So I will just do that. So, yeah, so Baris um, shared on the links for those, the in color bookmark, the card swatch. Um, also, we have the stamping blends chart and the uh, blends labels I'll just finish up my summer splash make sure that it is summer splash in the dark again I'm I'm surprised um, by how dark that is oh no see look they look the same So that's why you need labels. <laughs> Don't open them all at the same time. Especially um, Highland Heather and Fresh Freesia always gets me. And the labels. I haven't obviously labeled these, but the labels are all of the labels, uh, stamping blends that's available 2024 and 2025. Cut these in the line and then use a three eighths of an inch circle punch. And there's a couple there that's um, blank so you can write it down. You have your neutrals as well uh, and color lifter, ivory and bronze because the color lifter, I'm sure. I'm sure white is white <clears throat> for color lifter but you, I might as well add it. So lastly, we had pecan pie, uh, peach pie, all the pies. Who ate all the pies? 
peach pies, pumpkin pie. What the other pies are there? <laughs> but Ray just said I did. Um, pecan pie, yeah. So this one is the dark. I'm gonna keep that separate. <laughs> peach pie, I would say, is a an orange. Do it one at a time because I don't have my labels in place yet. Here we go. I guess what you could do is also do a s in your chart. If you want a second layer, you can do a second layer. The square piece is big enough because if you're new to uh, alcohol marker or blends, uh, once it's dry, you can add a second layer. Uh, which one shall I do? I will do the that one. Shai Shamrock because if you add a second layer, it won't blend. So this is my second layer of the light. This is a second layer of my dark. So technically you have four different colors. You can see. I'll let that dry and then show it again. But those are the blends. And then finally, we have <clears throat> the in color design series paper 12 by 12. Again, get a sampler of these from our in color kits. Or if you want a full pack, there's four in a pack of double sided paper. So that's nice. Um, I would say manly. You can use that for men as well, I would say. And then, ooh, that's an interesting design. Dotty one. I don't even, I wouldn't even know how to describe that. What would you, what would you say? Describe it for me. I thought, um, I saw forks. <laughs> Knives and fork, <laughs> or um, what you call it, an hourglass thing. So, yeah, two designs, four of um, two designs that's double sided. So that's pretty in pink, peach pie. Am I? I'm sure you can see, but it's all the same design, but in five different colors. I do like that um, leaf, of course, um, and the leaf collection. <laughs> it reminds me of the leaf collection, actually, which is a, a stamp set that we got uh, free from uh, for attending on stage. So, Petunia Pop. There we go. And Shai Shamra. No, Coastal. Something. <laughs> Shai Shamra. No, that's Coastal Splash. Coastal <laughs> Summer Splash. OMG. I've only just been saying them for the past two hours, I'm sure. There you go. Nearly two hours. So the leaf collection is the background stamp set, which I still haven't inked up. But yes, uh, so going back onto that blends, you have darker one that is dry. So if you layer it on top whilst it's, when it's dry, you can get different shades of uh, colors. There we go. So, um, what else have we got? Um, just as a final thing. So we do have the color wheel as a last PDF um, plug uh, on our website. So you, you do have to build it yourself and cut it out yourself and print it yourself. Uh, it's not a, it's a, it's not an actual product. Um, so it's, um, but I do have a how to print and assemble video on our YouTube channel. And uh, just to 
remember as well the last chance products uh, by stamping up up to 60 percent off is currently on on our online shop if you live in the uk france germany austria netherlands belgium or ireland so barry are you gonna come over hi pauline hi pauline <laughs> is that everything i think that is everything and plenty, and plenty of white card stock. And plenty. Oh yes, we did buy. That's why it's probably um, out of stock at the moment. <laughs> we only bought ten. We only bought ten. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted to buy some more, but um, yes. So shall I do face? If you, if you must. <laughs> there we go. Lovely. What did you think? Which one's your favorite? What in color is your favorite? Which one? Oh, sorry. <laughs> At least I'm on a wheel. Wheel. So lovely. Well done, Jay, for driving that tonight. This paper's lovely, isn't it? It is. It's really, really pretty. And you didn't want to get it. I know I didn't. Well, because we don't use it that often, but it is. But that is the florals is very, very nice. Yeah. There's a glare on the screen. Isn't it's there? the lights. Yeah. So right. Marty, does the wheel have the inner wheel? This is a printed version of the wheel. So yep, so you print it yourself, you cut it out yourself, even the holes, unfortunately, but it's all there, and then you just stick it together with a brad. That's it, and it works amazing. So a very useful tool for you. So let's just have a quick look at some of these comments come here. Um, okay. Um, Good. Any other questions? Good, good. So, um, what's that part? I got burned from a demo. Never got a PDF. It was supposed to get when I paid. I did get the class in the mail, but no promise. Or if ever you do buy, obviously, any classes from us and you don't get the PDF, then obviously you just need to, you just need to message us if, there, if we do, because we do a PDF with all our classes, don't we? Yes. And so, I've just um, read as well, um, Pat's comment that uh, she has bought the blend chart before so that download should still be available in your account on our website yes so you don't have to buy it again yeah if it's the same PDF that you want to get but obviously if it's the updated one then you will need to get yeah. the new one so yeah so if you want to print out your other your one which you've already purchased you can do it. it will still be there you just need to log into your account and then go onto your downloads and it will be there for you to have another little look at it again so yeah, you don't need to spend money you don't need to spend but if you want the new ones then mm. you'll need to get the new um the new charts um so good cool so we will say good night. Thank you so much for joining us. Um, as usual, these are always long videos, so um, I don't think this is as long as it has been. No, An hour and forty no. minutes. That's why quite... I said to you earlier. I don't think we bought that much. And I still, and I still said to Jazz, said it'll still be a couple of hours. We're only twenty fifteen minutes short of a couple of hours. There's still so... lots of bundles and there is but we were sensible lapses. and as i think jackie you mentioned earlier on um there is a whole year and we are at, with catalog isn't even live yet for everybody so there is plenty of time to purchase so we don't need to rush out and do it just no. yet so yes if no we want to but there's no need to so um so yeah so but we will be back with you um if i get my finger out with um funfold friday tomorrow night if I really get my finger out, it will be that um, twisty pop-up thingy, my bobby. Um, that's what it's called. Tomorrow evening, if not, it will be another card, which I want to do. It depends on what's easiest. So I just don't know how to design this one. So maybe I'll just show you how to do the technique and you can design it. <laughs> but yeah, we will be back with you Funfold Friday tomorrow night. And then again on Sunday, um, same time, same place at 7 o'clock. Cool. Thank you so much, Lovely. everyone. Take care. Thank you all. See you very soon. Take care. Bye. Bye. Bye.